God. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Aldrin Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? 
eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. I should take a look at that map. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back down there. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Huh. Huh. <clears throat> Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? Now 
Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Step one, examine the corpse. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Wanna start by inspecting the body, Anderson? The clicker? The cult? Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. Hello, and welcome to Cover World. This is the third okay. time I've okay. requested okay. something be done okay. about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. We called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh! Oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Well, 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 why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room all night? Hello, how's it going? she even doing out there? And at that time of night? Oh, she was what? Digging at, at, at what? I'm telling you, that woman's not all there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What will become of my birds now?
tourists. Just...